Hello everybody! Hello everybody! I am Pokedoo Dread, and um, today I would like to show you a little bit different. Every time we play some games, um, we want to take a break from it, you know? Spend some time doing something else. For some people, it'll be going to play some football on the field, or going to play, going around a friend and play some tag or something. Me? I'd like to go get some Dr. Pepper. Uh, either read a Nintendo magazine, the English version. I don't have Nintendo Power, but I have this. This is an old copy. And um, I also. Oh, won it. That was a pop up. I hate them. But. Also, if I'm not doing any of those, the mostly most thing I want I like to do is get Pokemon cards. These ones are the legendary treasures. So today I'm gonna call this mini series Poke Booster. Well, yeah. Well, Poke Booster. Basically, where we open Pokemon booster card, booster packs, and um, other stuff related to Pokemon card game. Maybe a bit of Yu Gi Oh as well, if I manage to grab one hold of one of them. So, basically, today I'm going to talk about a Legendary Treasures booster pack that I've opened and I forgot to open. I didn't, I only just, I did for this particular series. And we're also going to open. I'm also going to show you the Plasma Freeze deck, which I got last year for my friend's birthday. Don't ask why. Anyway, back to the main thing. Quite out loud pop-ups. Well, anyway, we, I'm going to be showing you the cards that came with this. The legendary pack. But, um, this is just the code. Someone will win this if, after the video, if I choose their comment, I will send them an inbox, an inbox, um, and they will get the booster code for this. If they play Pokemon card game online, they will get the code, and that will be it. I won't be using the codes, but you guys can use the codes. Yeah, pretty much. So that's my weekly chal week weekly con that's my weekly competition where we have boost the cards for the online game that you guys can all have. Uh, basically, in the deck, I managed to get this is this is my first booster pack opened in ages, by the way. So I better show you. Um, we got a basic time pole right here with. Uh, I haven't read this. It has vibration, which does 10 damage to the opponent, and it also does mud shot, which does 20 damage. Its weakness is 2 to grass. Oh, grass times 2, like the usual games. And to retreat it, you need 1 energy of any sort. Basically, on the card, this little bit here, it says by vibrating its cheeks, it emits sound waves. Impenetrable to humans. To humans. It uses rhythmic of these sounds to talk. So it talks. So yeah, it has 60 HP and it's a basic as well. And if you don't know what that means, it means you can play it. Right, the next card we got is a basic Swallot, which is a normal type. Here with 40 HP and the move Glare and Peck, which does 10 damage, needs 2 energy, and the uh, effect is, well, the little bit here that's there, it says flip a coin, if heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. That's where the glare comes in, like in the games. Its weakness is 2 to lightning, and but it's resistant to fighting, so it won't take 20 damage from the fighting types. Moves. And to retreat it, you need one en any energy. And its little thingy says, 
For some reason, it likes to land on people's heads softly and act like it's a hat. Ah! Oh. As you can see there in the image, it's got a dirty wing, and I'm guessing it's because of that Charmeleon there. I use this. I'm using this Pokemon in my Hoenn gameplay. After the Johto gameplay, wink, wink, head, nudge, nudge. So um, Fire Red, and then I'm doing a hat version of Fire Red, which is called Liquid Crystal. So we can. Oh, for crying out loud! Um, or I might play Heart Gold. Yeah, Heart Gold. Alright, and next up we have a basic Goth Eater. Um, looks it has 60 HP, and the moves are Hypnotic, hypnotic Gaze, which it makes the defending Pokémon asleep. Uses one energy of any sort because it's a normal move, and it also has Double Slap, which shows flip two coins. This attack does 20 damage times the number of heads. So if you get two heads, and and then you times that by 20, 2 times 20 would be 40. So yeah, 240 damage. Damn. Wow. All right, its weakness is psychic, so it's weak to itself. So yeah, Gothia. Its little description says... Their ribbon-like feelers increase their psychic power. They are always staring at something. So what could Gothita be staring at? By the love heart, I'm guessing it's you. No. Next up, we have a small basic Oshawott with 60 HP. And it has the only one move, Razor Shell, which uses a water energy and any other energy. It does, what it does, what's its little effect is flip a coin if heads. This attack does 20 more damage. The game likes heads. And its weakness is lightning. No grass. And its HP is 60, if I didn't say that before. Alright, this is when we get to the good stuff. Our next card is a basic Zekrom. But this ain't the best one yet. It has 130 HP and has the moves Outrage and Bulk Strike. Outrage uses 2 energy and does 10 more d more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if you keep adding in some counters, the damage will increase by 10. Not bad. And Bolt Strike uses 2 Lightning energy energy and one normal energy and it says this po it does 200 well 120 damage that is good that would take out an entire pokemon or a couple of them it won't take this one out because it has 130 30 hp so um it says this pokemon does 40 damage to itself after it uses it 40 recoil damage that's not good but it is worth it when you do it. Its weakness is fighting by two, and to retreat it, you need no two normal energy. It says the little description there. There you go, the little description. It says this Pokemon ap appears in Legend. In its tail, it has a giant generator that creates electricity. Whoa! All right, the next card on our list is Curem Ex. Which has 180 HP. And it's an EX card, so there you go. The design of it is awesome, by the way. I extremely like this card. It has the moves Frozen Wings and Hail Blizzard. Um, Frozen Wings uses two normal energy and one water. It says this card, an, a special energy attached to the defending Pokemon when used. Wow, that can be useful. And then it also says Hail Blizzard, which uses two water energy and two normal energy. It does two a whopping one, two damage. And it says this Pokemon can't use Hail Blizzard during the next turn. So basically you have to keep switching between Hail Blizzard and Frozen Wing then Hail Blizzard again. And its weakness is um, still, I believe. I think that's still. Is that still? And it's and the EX rule is 
When a po Pokemon EX is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. Not bad. To retreat, you need three. Wow. And ne next on is another EX, Meloetta. Right there, and you can see the design. I know it's going to be a bit flipped. But basically, it has the moves Brilliant Voice, which does 20 damage. Flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now asleep. If tails, the defending Pokemon is now confused. <laughs> okay. So it has 110 HP. And the other move, Round, ha uses free psychic energy and does 30 times damage. Does 30 damage times the number of Pokemon of your Pokemon that have the round attack. So if you have many Pokemon that use the move oh god, I dropped it. If you have many Pokemon that use the move rounds, you can um times it by thirty. So yeah, that's a good start, isn't it? Oh, it's a good card though. Shiny. I don't think you can see the shininess off the there you go. Uh it has the same EX rule and its weakness is two psych Two times the psychic or poison damage, I believe. I believe it's psychic. And to retreat, you only need one energy. Well, this game uses a lot of energy. I haven't played an actual match yet, so um, I'll enjoy that. Um, I'm making my own deck with silver. I'll show you it once it's all complete. Uh, the next one has star shine to it. I don't believe you can see it from here. But I believe you can see a bit of sparkle. But yeah, this is a Star Shiny. It's a Snivy that has 50 HP, uses the move Growth, to attach a Leaf Energy card, energy card from your hand to this Pokemon. And then you can use the Leaf Energy and two Normal Energy to use Razor Leaf, which does 30 damage. Its, weak, it's re weakness is Fire, and to retreat it, you only need one energy. It's um, little description says being exposed to sunlight makes its movement swifter it uses vines more appreciate a deep a deadly I'm guessing that's the word dense hands oh apparently my means better I believe oh, that's an ivy the next one we had the first evolution to it, it is Altaria. 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 Which I use in my Hoenn team, by the way. Um, which has the. as a dragon. It has a 80 HP. It has the move Speed Dive, which does 20 damage and uses 2 energy, as shown there. And. It also has the move cleave, which uses one water, one metal, and one normal um, energy. Uh, does 40 damage. It says flip two coins. If both of them are heads, discard all energy cards attached to the defending Pokemon. That is awesome. Its weakness is two to dragon, and its description says on sunny days it flies freely through the sky and blends into the clouds. It sings in a beautiful sopra, or soprano. I, I really like Altaria. It's one of my favourite favorite dragon types. It is my favourite dragon type. I would say Dragonite, but it just takes the cake. And then we have one last card with, from this deck, Booster, which is Crushing Hammer, which, me, which means if you flip a coin, if it's heads, then you discard an energy card an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And there's a little bit down on the bottom that says you may play as many item cards as you like during your turn before an attack. So yeah, this would be useful for getting rid of energy. So yeah, that's this deck done. Um, I believe I'll do a separate video on the Plasma Freeze if you would like. I've spent 40 minutes doing this video. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, sorry, I kind of hit that. So um, for this code right here for the Pokemon Online, all you gotta do 
is comment on the video. Um, comment, subscribe, and like the video. And you can uh, earn this code. I will give you the code yourself to you, and you can use it. Well, I won't give. I'll give you the code through email, um, YouTube email, and um, yeah, that will be sent to you. I might give you it through Google, so that will be sent to you as long as you subscribe and like the video. There will be a new one every week, hopefully. But when I do a next video, you will be mentioned as well as the winner. So uh, I'll do. I'll give you the code in about two days' time on mm, Sunday. After su actually, sun yeah, Sunday. And also, I'll be at London MCM the next Sunday, not this Sunday, because it's not on this Sunday. But next Sunday. I will be at the London MCM in um, the Royal London dock, dock site, Dockyard, in um, the Royal Victoria Dockside, sorry. So, if you want to stop by, say hi, then come ahead. Please tell your friends about me, um, they can win this, these codes if they want as well. Maybe you can try and rivalise your friends with this as well, online as well. So, yeah, hopefully the guards will help you. I'm Pokemon Trainer Red, and I'll see you next time. Fridays, possibly. Yeah, Fridays. Bye!